What type of clients do you aim to attract and what type of users are your products most suitable for? Uh, well, spread testing is a very niche product, um, so whilst obviously there are, there are profits to be made if you can get on the right side of the markets and call things correctly, uh, on the opposite side you can actually lose more than your initial stake size should the markets move against you. So it's very important that um, we are attracting only the right type of people that this product is suitable for. Therefore, we make sure that whenever we uh, advertise or promote this product, it's only targeted at people who understand the nature of the product. So if you open an, an account for SpreadX, for spread betting, you would have to go through appropriateness questions to make sure you understand that you couldn't lose more than your initial stake size and that you understand how spread betting works. Uh, we make sure that then the, the product is appropriate to that person. Uh, typically, SpreadX clients will be people who have a knowledge of how the financial markets work. Uh, well, this is the case for financial spread betting anyway, but it's not exclusively uh, the case and uh, we do have a lot of clients with an entrepreneurial uh, sense to them who want to try and uh, profit from, from this type of investment um, and try to uh, profit from either rising and falling market prices, which is what spread betting has an advantage uh, for. Um, it offers attractive margin rates, so good leverage to be able to try and make money from different share prices rising or falling or indices or forex or even commodity prices such as gold and oil um, and also the added bonus is that any profits that you do make from spread betting are currently free from capital gains tax uh, or stamp duty. On the sports spread, spread betting front it's slightly different. Um, these people don't necessarily have a knowledge of financial market backgrounds but again they're probably slightly more analytical, quite mathematical um, and very in-depth knowledge of sport to try and obviously again try and turn a profit from our prices be that on football, horse racing, cricket runs which is a very good, good market for spread betting uh, and again the common theme between these people is they have a good appetite for risk because these markets do tend to be slightly more risky than your traditional fixed odds markets uh, these clients are quite comfortable with the, the riskier nature of, of spread betting.